some might uh, accuse me of including this, in, uh, even though it doesn't have any direct implication on Web3, but I would argue that it has impl- oh, applications sure. on literally everything, right? certainly yeah. including Web3. So LK99, hot news amongst some of the internet this week. Um, it's a potential uh, room temperature superconductor. The story around it has been incredibly interesting and and entertaining, Um, but the premise there is that it might be a uh, new breakthrough in material science that um, enables something made from very basic elements uh, to do something that you could practically define as magic. Like It kind of breaks the the rules of classical physics, um, and it allows for electricity to be conducted with zero um, uh, resistance uh, and the applications at, do it at room temperature because obviously superconductors do currently exist. Um, things like MRI machines are based on them, but the, one of the reasons that an MRI machine is so expensive is because it can only work in incredibly low temperatures or incredibly high pressure or both. Um, and this says we don't need the pressure or the low temperature. You can do it at room temperature and normal um, uh, pressure and that could change absolutely everything. Um, People are calling it the the the, the floating rock, uh, and this is just because Where's of a particular hoverboard? phenomenon. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. Is um, I don't know necessarily that it has anything to do with the floaty rock phenomenon that would lead to the hoverboard. It might, who knows? Because um, it's diamagnetism is weird. It's not the same thing as normal magnetism. So a lot of people look at it and they're like, "Well, it's a magnet, whatever." But it, it's it's very distinct and different. It, like if you've ever seen one of those little tracks that they can float a superconductor around on, it's really different. Um, and it makes people think about, about uh, hoverboards. Um, but more than that, there's an enormous amount of power that you would need to have on something very small if you're going to literally lift a 100 to 200 pound person and have them kind of float around on it. Um, and so applications in regards to an enormous amount of power moving through something that wouldn't normally be able to handle it are kind of the most direct first order response uh, uh, or, or benefits of this uh, battery technology uh, an enormous number of different of different realms I highlighted a few here um, uh, so create those supersonic maglev trains allow cargo Ooh. ships to reduce uh, fuel consumption and emissions improve the performance of aircraft and other industrial vi- uh, uh, vehicles. Um, it would lead to a revolution in generation, transforming, and distribution of energy. And actually, someone had a little quote here. It's easily on par with the invention of the transistor. Uh, and the transistor was such a huge yeah. um, change from from what came before it with the vacuum tube that a lot of people, literally, it's what convinced them to believe in conspiracy theories that we had to have uh, you know, claimed or, or, or reclaimed some alien technology because we couldn't possibly have invented the shift from the vacuum tube over to the transistor is so enormous. Um, so if this is true, it's that degree of enormity. However, it might not be. Obviously, there's a whole bunch of caveats. Um, there's This is actually one of the parts of the story that I find most interesting is the fact that it's all happening live over the web. Like there's a totally. Yeah, it's cool. There's like a live tracker um, on on Wikipedia, keeping track of all the different experiments. And people are literally discussing this over Twitter, Twitter. X, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it's like um, we're the primary. I mean, I'm sure that there are offline conversations that would probably be more can be considered even more primary. But it feels as though the primary conversation around this, at least for the news side of it, is happening on X in a public, in a, in a quote unquote public space. And that's really been fun to watch. It really has. Yeah. It really, really has. Um, and, and some of the kind of personalities coming out of it, like the fact that there, one of the people that has claimed to have reproduced some parts of it is referred to as um, a Russian anime cat girl or something i remember what? and literally like in a i know because it's her that's her avatar on 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 twitter um and she's super surly you know soviet style scientist kind of thing that didn't have all the right materials so she made them herself and and when she then put out a picture showing it levitating people were like why don't you put out videos and why don't you explain more about why it works she like kind of came back with this kind of attitude like you guys are so stupid you should just do it yourself like it's so easy to do you should do it yourself don't oh demand more proof just try it yourself kind of thing so it's it's really funny the bit of personalities coming out there. Um, but also, obviously, there's a lot of debate. Is this even real? Could this, you know, because it was very sloppily released. 
Um, the scientists surrounding it have d haven't necessarily um, nailed the, the the dialogue around it and the, the explanations. They can't even explain why it does certain things, um, and so it caused a lot of people to just say like, "Nah, this is not real." However, we're starting to see some validation of it. Other labs around the world, there's a bunch of Chinese labs that spun up working on it, at least one US lab that spun up working on it, and a lot of individuals, literally because this is such basic materials, they're working on it in their home kitchen, which wow, is really exciting. that's so yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if it's true, wow, absolutely right. you've got to put the if it's true asterisk by all comments surrounding this right but now. But the pace at which this is going, it kind of feels like we could find out whether it's true. Like we could get some legit validation of it from a national lab within a week. Like it's kind of insane. We'll so see. maybe my next we week we'll see. have news God, about that. That would be exciting. That, that would be, that would it be will kind be, of incredible. It, there are so many, you know, we're in that kind of precipice time right now in terms of the, the cyclical nature of history. Mm -hmm. And we're facing a lot of seeming emergencies and also seeing the solutions to those emergencies appear. Um, and this one was unexpected, mm -hmm. but also feels on par for the course that we're on. It fits and it the feels, amount of change that's happening. It fits the know. amount of change that's happening. And it also fits sort of the urgent need. And it also fits in with the other changes that are happening mm -hmm. in technology mm -hmm. and information yeah i just want my hoverboard i do too i just want my hoverboard. totally so, yeah 